Hey y'all, today we're making Dutch oven crusty bread. It's so easy. The ingredients are three cups of bread flour or all-purpose flour. I've used it before too and it's fine. One and a half cups of warm, very warm water, one teaspoon of yeast, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. That's it. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I wanna show you my new bowl, first of all. A friend gave me several of these. I love it, it's great. I'm so excited to make this bread in it. So, the first thing I'm gonna do, I always sift mine, some people don't, and it's fine. Uh, I'm going to put three cups of bread flour in my sifter. And it's okay if some of it falls out. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of active dry yeast in here. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And then I'm gonna sift this together. You can also use a whisk, just whatever you want. I just always like to sift my bread. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna add the one and a half cups of warm water. stir this up. It is so easy. Anybody can make this bread, and I'm telling you, anybody. If you have a Dutch oven, and if you don't, I've actually made it without one. And I'll show you in the morning, this will sit overnight, and I'll show you in the morning uh, the Dutch oven. So you're just going to stir that up, if you think it needs a little more warm water, add it, which I do. You, and see how little I'm using, just very, very little. And that could just be because I got more flour than needed or something. So you're gonna think this is very ragged bread, but it's gonna, you're just gonna be surprised. It's so good. I've got this on my cooking blog. I would like to ask y'all, if you can hear me over the mower, uh, to go to my YouTube, which you should be on, and subscribe. And that will help me tremendously. I'm trying to build it up. And uh, so next one I'm gonna do is cover this and put a towel over it and uh, wait till in the morning. Okay, I have put saran wrap over this. I've got two sheets of saran wrap and I'm just gonna leave it like that. As you can see, it looks ragged. It's okay. And then I'm gonna put a towel over it. Isn't this so pretty? So pretty. Keep it simple. That's what that says, keep it simple. I love it. I'm sure I got this as a gift while I was having chemo. I love it. So this is gonna sit, it can sit anywhere from 12 hours to 24. So I'm gonna set this on the stove and uh, I just wanna encourage anybody that has never made bread, this is the greatest one to start with. It's so easy. So, and we like to keep it simple, right? Right. So I'll see you in the morning when it's ready and I'm probably gonna fix spaghetti with this tomorrow. Uh, that's my go-to meal. Okay, it's the next morning. This is what my bread looks like, the dough. So I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, I've got my Dutch oven in the oven at 450 and you have to leave an empty Dutch oven 
with the lid on it uh, in there for 30 minutes. And that's just to heat it up and get it ready for this bread. Now I'm going to get this dough out onto the cutting board. Get extra flour so it won't stick to your hands. And this bowl worked out so good that my friend got me. I love it. So. And this is actually a no-knead dough. You don't have to knead it. Um, just to get in the shape that I want it, I do put it on a flower board and just kind of move it around to get it the shape I want it. So. And I don't want it to stick on my board here. So after doing this right here, and that's all you do, is uh, you're gonna let it sit for five minutes and my Dutch oven ought to be warm enough in just a few minutes. Okay, I've got the Dutch oven out of the uh, oven. It's been in there 30 minutes and it's very, very hot. So I'm gonna move over here and you want it hot for your dough to go in and I hope y'all can hear when it goes in how it sizzles um, let me get my hands so all you're gonna do can you see it all you're gonna do is pick up your dough and you're just gonna put it in there and I heard it sizzle but I don't know if y'all did or not so this is what it looks like in the pan before you cook it. And this is a Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven. Let me get the lid, it's very hot. I'm gonna put it back in the oven and I'll let you see it when it comes out. Okay, the timer's off, let's see what it looks like. So this is Dutch oven crusty bread. The easiest bread whew, you'll ever make. Let me get you down here where you can see. Okay, this says to cook this at 450 for 30 minutes and then take the lid off and cook it for another 10 to 15. I have never had to do that. I do include that in my instructions um, on my cooking blog. Uh, but I've never had to do it. Now, I'm going to try to see how pretty this is. Look at this. It's very hot. Can you see it? So pretty. Can you hear it? So, it's very hot. We won't cut it right now. I'm going to make some uh, soup to go with this. There's a better view. I was gonna make spaghetti last night. I think I said I'm gonna make spaghetti, but um, I am going to make some, um, it's a sausage spinach soup to go with this. And um, it's gonna be delicious. This will be great hot buttered. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to get this up where you can see how pretty it is. Look at that. I wish y'all could smell it. It's so beautiful and it's so pretty. It's a no-fail bread. I mean, Dutch oven crusty bread. Hey, y'all like and subscribe and uh, to my YouTube channel, Our Forever Farm. And uh, there's a little bell down there if you want notifications when I do a new video, you can be the first to see them. So. Hope y'all try this. It's easy. If you've ever wanted to make bread, this is the one to make. Y'all go cook something.